Okay, all week we have been highlighting winners from this year's Best of the City in Albuquerque's The Magazine. And this morning we have with us Laura Waka, the best visual artist in the city. And you'll be able to know why in just a moment. Thank you so much for joining us, Laura. Oh, it's great to be here. First, just tell me, when did they call you up and tell you about it? Oh, gosh. Uh, a couple of weeks couple ago. A couple of weeks ago, yeah. your initial thought? Well, they came and took my photograph for the magazine, so I was a little suspicious, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> but I wasn't. Here. Don't tell anybody, so. Uh, well, there's so many good artists in the Albuquerque area that yeah. it was, you know, it's it's really amazing to be sort of recognized as a big nice, honor. You know? Yeah, a big honor. Yeah, sure. So tell me about your your pieces. What do you specialize in? Well, I paint in acrylics on canvas, and okay. I also do paper mache uh, sculpture. I do a lot of other stuff too, but these are my main my main things, and my paintings are usually sort of about my personal life and okay. about politics and the sort of where they mush together. Perfect. I mean, why not, <laughs> yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So some of your paintings, they're very, very, uh, I don't know, complex. I, How well, long does it take you? I like to pack everything in there, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. um, I do sort of three weeks, I think, for okay. about a painting. Okay. About like that. And of course, I have a day job, so it's all at night and the weekends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On your kind of free time, yeah. you're a teacher. Mm -hmm. So. Kind of when you have free time, because teachers are pretty much working all the time. Yeah, I teach art to the little, little kids, yeah. so, you know, that's fun, too. Is that pretty <laughs> inspiring, um, knowing that, for one, you got this Best of the City, and you are teaching young children to become this one day? Well, I think it's really important that people realize that uh, having an appreciation for art, mm -hmm. whether you do it or as a career or anything like that, it, it enriches your life. And you know, so. Have you always worked as an artist? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Since I was a little, little kid. Since you're drawing <laughs> stick figures on, uh -huh. on the paper. I never stick figures. Never we don't allow stick, stick figures. figures. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. wow. Good. You don't look like a stick. You have... That, well, that's I want how clothes. I, would be. I want bodies. I don't want sticks. I think that's my my art would be stick figures. Um, but clearly, I'm not as professional as what you are. You're you're really really good. So what inspires you? You said um, politics and just your everyday life. That's what inspires you mm -hmm. to create art. Yeah. If somebody's interested in becoming an artist, how do you um, encourage them, or what do you tell them they should be inspired by? E, that's kind of a tough one mm -hmm. because you know it's it's sort of what interests you and what you like. I mean, some people like to do still lives and mm -hmm. you know that's sort of never been my thing it's always something that comes out of my head it sort of things swirl around in there and sometimes I get a little itchy or angry or something yeah, and so yeah. I paint it out and so just whatever moves you mm -hmm. do you encourage people as adults to turn to art uh, sure I think anybody can you know appreciate it look at it make things you know mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be art it can be music or writing or Cooking or late, anything, though. just do something. Yeah, and know? it's never too late. If you have a passion for something, or oh, maybe sure. you think you want to do it, mm -hmm. try it. Why sure, not? Sure. You never Absolutely. know what's going to happen. Yeah. So tell me, do you have a studio or a space where you sell some of your pieces? I have a studio. My studio is in Bernardo. I have okay. a website. I show uh, at Matrix Fine Art in Knob Hill. It's on Central. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have a solo exhibit in February. Okay, so, and where is that going to be? Uh, at Matrix Fine Art. So okay. it's on Central, just past Carlisle. Okay, in and Hill. just all of your pieces? Yeah. How how many pieces are we talking about? Ooh, 20 paintings oh, and maybe wow. some sculptures too, wall yeah. hanging sculptures, all kind of stuff. Um, Pack it in. <laughs> after people found out that you got Best of the City, uh -huh. what has the response been? I haven't told a lot of people. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're keeping it to yourself? I don't know. It's somewhat somewhat uh, I'm, I, humbling, I suppose, yeah. is the word. Okay. You know, so. I understand. Any uh -huh. of these pieces up for sale? I know a lot of people are out oh, there sure. holiday shopping. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, so some go of these... on my website, laurawaka.com. Okay. You can can you spell that for us really fast? I don't know if we have a graphic L -A -U -R -A -W -A -C -H -A for that. L-A-U-R-A-W-A-C-H-A.com. Okay. Um, anything else um, you may want to tell the public out there about your pieces and what they may find at your um, your solo exhibit, correct? Yeah, the solos in February. Uh, in January, uh, Matrix has a show where they have sort of a preview of the year. Okay. And so they'll have work from all the artists who exhibit there. I'll have about two or three pieces in that show. And, okay. You know, so. If somebody's interested in purchasing something when they go there, do they have to take cash or? They, I think they do credit cards and everything. I think you have to oh. wait until the show's over to take the piece home, though. Okay, so well, that's, that's easy. You know, but if you want something for Christmas, go on my website and give me a call or email me or <laughs> thank you so much for joining uh -huh. us congratulations well, before you. you go thank you and so thank much. you again for joining us this it's great to be here for more information on laura and her website go to our website it's krqe.com click on krqe links and we will be right back